All right, so we are gonna go ahead and do a quick little work around to try to get some tapered edges on our text. <clears throat> so first off, we're gonna go ahead and check our size of our work areas, 26 by seven. So we're gonna go ahead and make, this just for example purposes. So we made the box 24 by seven, right off the bat there. Oh, 26. There we go, that looks better. All right, so 26 by seven. So we've got a box around our work area. I'm gonna go ahead and select the text. Um, we're just gonna do something simple. Hello. Make this a height of four, let's say four. Go ahead and make it five. Just to make it easier for everybody. Following along. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and take our text, our original text, we're gonna offset it to the outside a quarter inch, so that's 0.25 inches. Select apply. All right, that's what we're left with. Now we are gonna go ahead and we wanna pocket all the material on the outside of this. I'm gonna select over to here, tool path. We right, got a 201 bit selected, we wanna pocket. We have our depth of cut set at a quarter inch. So we're gonna go ahead and leave that there. Not really too concerned about the, the speeds and stuff, so all right, so now we want to go ahead and get our text V carved in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select their outside vectors, the original, which is the inside, and then the outside, which is the offset. We're going to go ahead and select everything. Now, an easy way to do this, go back to design, just select it. Come back over here, toolpath. Go ahead, go to V carve. And we're going to go ahead and switch over to, we got a 302 bit. We're going to switch that over, not going to change anything. Um, go put that into Pine. See our simulation so far. Okay, so right now, we have our pocket cut around here, around our letters. We have our V-bit tapered edge set. But we have this skin left around the outside edge. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and come back in here. Now, selecting that outside profile that we offset originally, I'm going to go ahead and select all that stuff. Uh, select that guy. Nope. Select this one. So we're going to select these guys. And we're going to go ahead and go back to Toolpath. Contour. We're going to go and select a quarter inch end mill. So number 201. And we're going to do a, a no offset on that profile. So what that's going to do is going to go ahead and cut right alongside there. So no offset. I'm going to check our simulation. And as you can see, that stuff's cleaned up. And right there, it's not. We must have, sele we must have forgot to s select a vector. All right, so let's go back over here. Yep, as you can see, it's not selected. Control shift and select it. Um, you go back over to Toolpath, it's not going to be selected, so you can just go ahead and zoom in here, Control shift select that one, click OK, and everything should be peachy now. We're going to go ahead, and there you go. Get you some tapered edges. Now to control this, um, you can do some math. Um, basically what we did, we just left about, about maybe about... A, a sixteenth of an inch profile here with a, a flat edge so you can do the math make that perfectly crisp or you can just kind of get it close enough um, hope this helps some people thanks for watching sorry if I go too fast I know I need to work on my speech I have some sensory disorders I'm working on all that so bear with me guys thank you